Good morning. And how are you guys good doing today? Morning. Yes, good morning. Hope you're doing fantastic. Hope you're having a great day. It's a beautiful morning here. The sunshine is amazing. And I have my own sunshine right here next to me. Look at the sunshine. <laughs> See that? All right, so guess what? We're going out on another adventure. Yeah, I'll never know how you get shrimp in the supermarket. Sea shrimp. You ever wonder? Yes. Well, I'm going to show you guys today. I'm heading out on a fishing or a shrimping journey, not a fishing journey. I'm going out on a shrimping journey and also I walk in with my rod and make get some catfish. But me and the boys, we're heading up. I'm by Anthony. We're going out shrimping today. Come and show them how you look. So, Miss Lynch, you want to, you guys to see? Uh, I got uh, my box and all, my tackle and all, my fisherman. stuff, my rod. I'm going <laughs> supply with water and food. Going out fishing. All right? So, join me. I'll let me begin. Am I supposed the to go with you, though? Because I'm your sunshine. Yes, darling. <laughs> but you're going to come next time. Okay, good. No worry. I'm going to buy my own boat and I'm going to take you shrimping. Good. <laughs> Let the journey begin. Look at the beauty of the morning there, the morning sunrise. There's a little cloud there, but I hope that doesn't cause any effect of the beautiful day here today all right we don't want no rain then we had rain last night but you know look at the other guys on the seawall here exercising you know coming out for a morning walk we got in fishing you know uh, no shrimping sorry we're going shrimping anthony but anthony and i gonna be fishing we're gonna catch catfish or snapper coras whatever bite in behind the scene right so we shrimping and fishing this morning it's a new adventure i've never shown you guys how we shrimp well today you're gonna see how the fishermen shrimp and how the shrimp reaches on the shelves in the supermarket all right or in the or in the coolers in the supermarket so let me continue the fun we're making our way to the coca and seeing this coca i remember a good old friend my girl ginger so i see like my fishing crew sitting and waiting for me or I don't even know which crew are going on, but I'm going on a crew. Me and my boy Anthony. Morning, fellas. Morning. How y'all doing? Good. A panko? All the time. What's going on, buddy? That's my long last friend, my panko. You guys fishing now? The guy and me are friends for like 20 years, man. I haven't seen the man maybe in 10 years. All right, look at all the boats them there. So you see the life of a fisherman here, the man got fetch these big, big trees and thing. And so I forgot fishing. We got a crew going out there. Going fishing. I ain't know where my crew is. I wanted the crew gone left for Anto. I don't know. <laughs> you know. All right, these guys going out fishing for catfish and gilbaco. All right, and this is how you set up the bait. You gotta cut the, the banga mary in small chunks to bait the hooks. And this is what the catfish like to eat and the gill back on. And yeah, remember this man here from Moripo Market? What kind of boy? Yeah, buddy. All right, this man's been selling gill back Yeah, and catfish there, right? He and his lovely wife. All right, so. Hey, this is the man who bring me on for the trip today. What going on, my boy? All right, thanks for bringing us on this trip, all right? No problem. Hope we catch a lot of shrimp today. Get in, get in, one thing out you get. Oh, what's your son name? Chris. Chris, so you want to shout out my boy Chris, right? This man's son, last time talking to this man, right? His son asking, is it ARD up on the line there? Can I say hello? <laughs> the man's so excited to say hello to me. So Chris, big up to you, man, all right? So we're leaving the shorelines now, and we're making our way out into the mighty Atlantic. Uh, this is a channel that the channel that takes you out into the Atlantic even though the water recede there is a channel here that these guys can come in with the smaller boats. Alright. We got some nice screen there by Cory Cory afternoon that, 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 that a red one right? Yes. Yeah. Alright watch we're going back. Uh -huh. You can see them there lovely. Hey, life can get fresher than this. Right, we hear the engine there, powering up there. And we're heading out to the Atlantic, so the journey continues. 
hoping to get a great catch today. Trust me. While we shrimp, we're gonna fish as well. Yeah, you can't starve when you got all these options to what catch food. I see, I see a red one day, the red um, three in the head. You know, the water is so, so calm, so beautiful this morning. Not bumpy at all. So we work in the fall and tide, you know, the water receding. So I guess we have now to see all the pens them out there. There's a boat far out there. You're probably going out a mile from shore. Yeah, but I like when the water calm like this. <laughs> we can't get seasick, don't worry. And Anthony is your first ride for the shipping boat. First ride, first, first ride. First ride. Well, welcome to the mighty Atlantic. All right. Yeah. I'll buy Anthony for a trip out to the Atlantic, eh? Hey. He's a shoreline fisherman, he always fishing by the jetty. Today, we in the Atlantic and we doing we thing, you know, we're going to do we thing. Setting up your rig and Setting up your rig there right now. Hey, the goodness continue. Something to note, when you're going fishing in the Atlantic, you eat light food, you know, water, crackers. You don't want to eat heavy food if the water rough. You're going to get upset stomach and you're going to want to throw up. So the best bet is to eat crackers and water. Alright? This break pass. We pass with some fishermen here. These boys doing pin sail. Pin sail is when you anchor down the sail in one place. And the tides pull through the water and through the sail so the fish get stuck in it. Alright? So it's anchor sail or the local fisherman is a pin sail. And look at it, look at the sunshine on, on top of the water, how you glitter in there, boy. Hey, you all can pay for that goodness? Never. You gotta come and experience it and enjoy it. Anthony, you enjoying the trip so far? Very much so. Very much enjoying so. Enjoying it. Lovely, lovely. And this is your forest trip. Forest trip. Oh. So, you don't have to be a fisherman to come in the Atlantic Ocean and fishing. But by Anthony, is the forest trip and he having fun. But you gotta know a few things, a few tips. Make sure it's nip tide. Nip tide is now when the water is kind of calm. You come in a calm necessary water to fish if you're not a professional fisherman, all right? Or a seasoned fisherman, like how we are. And you're gonna be all right. If the come the water is rough, then you're gonna upset stomach. Or if the boat is not clean, you know, sometimes the boat got shrimp and fish stuck in it and it smells, it, you know, it spoils and it smells bad, it makes you get upset stomach as well. But this is a clean boat and the water is Calm, life can get better. The perfect time for fishing. So this is how you know when the tides start um, falling or washing. Yeah, right now the water is is in the middle right now. It's not washing, it's not fall. Up. Balance up. So when this scene moves to the right, it means the water falling. This is how you, this is the local way in testing the tide. All right. More you live, more you learn. Right. Remember, I tell you all already in previous video, tide and time wait for no one. For you, that's for real. The tide don't wait for you, but right now we are waiting for the tide. For when the tide gets to fall, like strong enough to drop the scene. Fish on the line, boy. Fish on the line. You got fish in, oh. Yes, it's there. Pull up in the same spot. They're gonna let you cut your hand. Let me see what's going on here, boy. I'm tangry. I just been a line by what? Where did you go? He's in the rear, boy. Look at this. And look how catchy. That's not funny, mouth. All right, so we're releasing back this giant here. Throw it back overboard now. We, we ain't eating though, so. Swim away, swim away, thank you. Don't come back, don't come eat the bait again, all right? All right. <laughs> He buys them now, setting up the scene there. We're throwing the scene overboard. As they're throwing the scene overboard, you see the, the scene already start drifting to my right, towards the east. Means the, the, the tide's receding. And them fellas over there loosening the scene too, throwing the scene overboard. So you gotta tie the scene two knots to stretch, to stretch the scene open. You see the pole there? One knot could be on top, and one you gotta slide it down to the bottom in the water so when the water pull now through the sea and whatever pass through this area here gets stuck in the sea and that's how you get the shrimp right 
Fish on the line, boy. Fish on the line. The first basher, boy. Nice, nice. After one hour, we run in the sea. Cause we need some baits. We need some shrimp to bait because we're using herring baits right now. But we ain't catching nothing except stinging ray. Stingin ray. I buy Anthony get a stinging ray and he caught a um, a tree tree, right? And I caught a stinging ray. This man caught a basher. That's how we caught for fish. So my boy running the sea in there right now. Hopefully we can catch some shrimpy and we can get nice bait to feed them catfish. Ah, you got fish in there too, boy. Police, 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 police. Where is police, Kuras? Pagi, Pagi. Pagi? Yeah, Pagi fish. Pagi is what no, I call police. Alright, yeah. so we got a police fish in there. Police fish in there. I think we call it tree fin or tree tail in, the in, in America. Okay. Triple tail. Ah, you look back at it, boy. That's the Pagi, yeah, the triple tail. Hey, look at that, boy. We could have. Gonna cook some of this fish here right now. <laughs> the nice bang, they fry them, they can't get fresher than that. Look at this little basha here. I remember the days when I used to eat. Oh, cal, cal. Yeah. This little basha, we used, we used to go in the river when I was a boy around 10 11. I used to go to the fishermen, the shrimp in the boat. Yeah, we used to carry home this little fish here to eat, mixed okay. with curry. But this take a release back. This, 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 yes, 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 this is a snapper or this? Cal, cal. Cal, cal. cal, cal. Go back. So at least, I don't want to act the kindness, right? See, I pick up plastic and we keep it. We're not throwing it back in the river. So, you know, I wanted to bring awareness to our, our local fishermen. Okay. And they put back these little fish. What you don't need, you put it back in the river, somebody gonna need it. Fish on the line, boy. Fish on the line. Forest cat fish in the boat. So, Anto is a champion by number one fisherman getting the, the forest catfish there. Lovely, lovely. Fish on the line, boy. Fish on the line. It's not catfish, boy. Let me see. Oh, oh God. I am a quaquari specialist, it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> when we never the jetty, this is the most popular fish I just catch. Uh, yeah, buddy. Are you talking to me too? Fish on the line, boy! Fish on the line! That's get good, fish, boy! Get fish! <laughs> alright, alright. We're getting fish, you know. Fish on the line, my man Anthony Strike. <laughs> oh boy! There goes another stinging ray! Yay! <laughs> Lovely, Anthony. I wake up in the morning. Three? Two? two? So, I got one, you got two. Alright. You got any? You, but you got one, right? One carry, carry this man hook here. Yeah. I want to show you guys a, a, a species of fish you don't really see every day. We call it ugly basha in Essequibo. You call it pilot here, right? Pilot, pilot. The captain says it's called pilot, and somebody said shiny basha. basha. Alright, so live another day, shiny basha. <laughs> so that's a different species of fish, right? This is neckly. We call this neckly or paper fish. This is herring. Too much herring in a barrel. The spiley barrel. This is herring. All right, boy. So, and this is a sword. What kind of belt fish? Belt, belt, fish. Silver, silver belt. Silver belt. Silver belt. A belt fish. All right. So, we got be bait, say you know. And look, we got a, a crab. We got a sherry go. All right. Yeah. Now this guy washing the shrimp. You know, he cleaning up the um. The shrimp there. Now look how close the bar is them coming. Look at that. That's how close. To... What board are these? Eh? Airboard. Say again? Airboard. Airboard. Blackboard. So, so many blackboard. Seagull. Oh, the seagull, yeah. So you see, them fellas know when this guy go washing the shrimp there and all them small fish that floating. Look, they're picking it up. You see that? The man getting food by. Lovely, lovely. And the white one is, um, Something else you got here. Seagull. Too. Seagull too. Yeah. Alright. The birds with the mouth so close to them coming almost picking for your head. Fish on the line, boy. Fish on the line. More catfish. More catfish. Lovely, fish. lovely, Anto. Fish on the line, watch. As we speak, watch. Let me wind up here, watch. As we speak. Oh, God. Quaquari, thank God he fell off. That's the fifth one for the morning. 
I is a boss. I is a boss when you come to Kakwari. <laughs> All right, so we get some more shrimp, See that? Can't get pressure on this. That shrimp jump in there, you know. Look at that. Still alive. <laughs> but we got a flounder. Yeah. Now this here, this is what we call a flounder. Very sweet fish. In America, you have this too, flounder. All right, so. Fine too. Live on that and look at this side way, like you see. Oh, you throw it up into there? Sometimes you can't even pull in that, that, that bottom right there. I want a shrimp. Yes, yes, no. Two men got to pull it in. You got bottom, cut it overboard. Cut it overboard too, wow. In the basket. Fresh, fresh. Look at that, boy. Catfish and thing there, boy. Quackwari, everybody, you got there right now. There's another bag we open in there, another scene. More fish, boy. Whoa! No quackwari there, boy. <laughs> <laughs> We got a nice bottle of fish. I could have cooked this right now, boy. Light the stove up, man. Light the stove, boy. Let me cook this, eh? Can you freshen on this, boy? By Anthony, doing well, you know, holding up well for your first trip. You know what I mean? Look, look, birds, boy. All them playing them birds. It's a fish. A garlic, right? A hair cream. But then by a fight, what? Black board and white board, a fight. You want, you want the post to go and stand up on? I let you all like my post. You know what bullied the little board to move out there, you see that? It was a bully board. <laughs> fish on the line, boy. Fish on the line. What's going on here? I used a champion for stinging rain, you know. He's a big fellow. Look at my horse. Look at the size of that, boy. That's all? Yeah. That's a huge one, boy. Look at that, boy. Lovely. <laughs> That's a big fish. <laughs> and took a one on the line there too. <laughs> stinging ray, my stinging ray. Bring them, bring them. That one gave me a big fight just now. But it's the beauty here, man. The excitement, you know. Catching fish. Oh, see, there's a small one here. And took a baby one there. You gotta really be careful with the tail, right? You gotta. Dangerous um, spore. Right. Correct. All right, so I learned something new. Now, ahead there, you can see a little darkness in the water. That is black water or fresh water. Because we're not far away from shore, you know, about one mile away. So, the fresh water that them boys came out here, the Cable River, coming down. And once the fresh water comes, there's no more shrimp, no more fish. So, we are picking up before time. We were supposed to be out here another two or three hours. Now we're picking up back because these fishermen knows even if you wait and fish for the next three hours, you're gonna catch nothing. And as you can see here right now, as they're picking up, watch, they ain't got nothing much in the bag. We're picking up all these sands now. We got about six sands. But this is the life of a fisherman or a shrimp shrimping boat. You know, these guys, these guys they come out. Sometimes you catch, sometimes you don't. Mm -hmm. It's a gamble. But we definitely enjoy today, buddy. Trust me. But by Anthony first trip, the man catch about 10 catfish. Party and about far to tingery. <laughs> stingery. <laughs> Before I finish um, fishing, a stinging ray took off my line, my leader, my line, my hooks and everything. Yeah, and then by so we call it quit for the day. <laughs> So one thing in Ray caused the fishing trip to stop <laughs> along with the black water approaching ahead there. Catch in here, you know. Here we get it, boy. So. Get two here, isn't it, boy? Oh, yeah, I'm cleaning this one. Alright, so we get some more shrimp there. Life can get better. <laughs> Trust me, man. You catch your own fish, go when you cook it. Can't get better than that. <laughs> can't get better than that. Or fresher than that. That the yard that my man chicken is. All right. He's picking up more and more seen. So let me see what this one more scene bring in. Because, you know, we're going to be repeating the same thing over and over for the next couple of scenes. In the end, I'm going to show you all the day's catch. And the 
Champagne Round 20, then buy this Nova going, now with the black water. You can fish in there, buy. Everything. Things start. Down by shark or something, mate. Always happening. Let's see what we get in, mate. Alright. We ain't getting much shrimp like the first when we start fishing. When we start shrimping, we were getting more shrimp than now. You can see what happened, them by now we're attacking by the black water. Alright. So we finished picking up the scene. No, buy out. They're cleaning up the shrimp, them, you know. Taking out all the garbage and the, all the small fishes that not needed. Showing it back into the Atlantic. So we make, so we're making our way back to shore. Look four right there by a lot of fish. You got a fish, you got four right. We, we believe it got four eyes. The fish got four eyes, so true. Four, four eyes. So we got some fish. Two eyes top two bottoms. So see, two are seen the sky and two are seen the water. Yes, two eyes top two bottoms. Lovely. So we get a four, right? You got a lot of four, right? Fish there. There's always up in the mud, top there. Look at the beauty there. Look, birds. Wow. So, so amazing. Look, birds, boy. And look, this car that I best ahead there. One and only. This is what? Ducks or uh, birds? Oh, is it the same one? Seagull. Seagull. Seagull, okay. Modraca. Modraca. The man's searching the mud for food. <laughs> look, speed with the body back there. Coming through there. Hey. You having fun? Because I am having fun and everybody on this boat enjoying themselves. Can't get better than this. Never. This man catching up with this man boat got more speed than we. <laughs> so yeah, I see this morning when we leave here, this place all the water was so high, right? And look at it now. No water, the tide receded. Where the hawks tell them never? I didn't see that. I not come no morning. Oh, so yeah, I'll keep the shrimp till tomorrow for them? Uh, it's ice it down. Oh, oh, nice. Yeah. Alright, alright. So the hawks are going to come tomorrow morning early to buy the shrimp and then yeah. they're going to go into the villages and sell. Five o'clock in the morning. Five o'clock in the morning, okay. And they're going to the villages or someone and go to the market and sell. So if you want fresh shrimps, this is the place to come. Ogo right. Seawall. Look, boats here, by all by relax because I can't tell my friend here, y'all, they caught $1,000 shrimp yesterday, right? Yeah. Some other boat. Yes, yes. The five US dollar only. So it didn't pay to go out and shrimp um, yesterday. These guys, they didn't even get gas money back for the moto. So, hey, we are happy we got, you know, about one basket of shrimp, which is about $50 for it, US. That's them by his expense. You're supposed to get at least about three baskets to make a profit, but hey, they're thankful they got some little fishes there. But you know, that's how the game is. You can fish or shrimp every day, not guaranteed to catch every day, alright? Alright, this is we catch here today. We got a basket there. There's you cat. The man over there. And this see? And some nice fine fish, the man. Alright? You just buy back and sell back the shrimp or Nice, nice. Alright. Hey. My man over there catch one basket. And I um, have to. Anthony, how was the experience, boy? Very well. Well, very well. A day well spent? Amazing. 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 First time on a shrimping vessel. And like it, you always say, pay the people for the stuff. They work very hard. They work very hard, correct. Yeah. They do. They do. Yes. All right, so you had a good trip. Yes, I did. Lovely. Yeah. So you heard it there from the man himself, Anthony. The man had a good trip. First trip in the Atlantic Ocean on a shrimping boat. We did well. We caught some catfish on the line. We gift away a few. We kept a few. We're going home now. We're going to cook. As we're about to make our way home, my boy shout for me, man. Let me see if this man bringing more fish for me again. Hey? You got some nice fish here, bye. Whoa, all right, all right. So after fishing, we hungry. Look where we did. Cherry snack it. So bye, Anto, knock away, knock in the man. Egg ball. Egg ball, bye. Mm -hmm. Quickest snack. Hello. So I got a subscriber here, man. What's your name? Jenny. Jenny, all right, and you, and you know the show? Yeah. 
I look my friends over here actually taking lunch. <laughs> and this is Sherry here for Sherry snack you touch. <laughs> and how you doing darling? Hi. How many years now buying food for me? A couple of years I can count. Maybe 15, 20? <laughs> well we are out Long. here 21 years. So. 21 years. Since y'all had the smaller stand. Right. I remember when I tell y'all y'all got build a stand like this. Mm -hmm. You can remember? That's so true. <laughs> and they come to pass, right? <laughs> I don't see things you know. <laughs> Alright. Carl Sherry, I see the number in front of the shop. <laughs> they do catering to you in case you got a wedding and so you want a big amount of food or party. It's like the Korean thing. Oh, yes, and the Korean thing, you can get it right here, right? So you know where to get your egg ball and all the nice food. Right by Sherry, by UG Road here, right? 6th Street. By 6th Street and the University of Ghana. There's so many back there. So UG Road and 6th Street. Make sure you check out them, right? Yeah. All right. <laughs> home sweet home. And look what we caught today, boy. We got a nice catfish. The catfish wasn't big. And you know, we caught about 20. I took a couple. I gave away some. Hey, the boatman gave me two pagi or sea patwa. In America, I call it triple tail, right? So you got like three tail, one, two, three, triple tail. We got a nice fine bang. I mean, really think sweet bad and fried, you know. Look at all this shrimpy. So I got some help from my girl Caroline. She should come out with a knife there. All right. All right, so the boatman told me something, and now my friend Caroline reminded me. You gotta throw some salt, put some salt on the shrimp. I it, know for what? It gotta clean faster. It clean faster. It yeah. help to help you to clean the shrimp faster. All right, lovely. So there's a little trick in the game. Everything got little porks and you know little pros and cons, right? So here we have Caroline helping us to clean the shrimp. Yeah. And over um, here we have Mr. Ian Hardy. Right, so. Caroline helped me clean the shrimp. I gift her these catfish, right? So I help her clean the catfish because I don't like clean shrimp. So she helped me clean the shrimp and I clean the catfish for she. So she said tomorrow she's gonna cook catfish curry for the dinner. But today I'm gonna be cooking bunjal shrimp. Alright? Good. We got green mango and we got tomatoes. Yep. Because we picked green mango yesterday in Barbies. Remember? Yes. Alright. So. Hey, the fish couldn't get fresher than this. Go and catch them yourself. Or I the got shrimp. my sheer here to go and clean. Yeah, but your business is true. Look at this hard working girl here. And she, she like she wanna sing the song again. Never look, never see you looking so little lady in red. <laughs> I love red and I love cooking bunjal shrimp. Red. Yeah, but don't be doing. You look like a zebra. Are you black with white stripes or white with yes. black stripes? Wherever you want to chew, how you okay. want to put it. <laughs> Mango, onion, more onion, tomato, okra, pepper. Life can get better. Boy, look at all these lovely fruits. We went to pick mangoes in Barbies. And sapodilla. So I feel them, see which one are ripe, you know. None are ripe. And there's a green mango, we make achar. But it's a good thing we bring this green mango yesterday and now we're cooking fish curry with it. So we have curry powder, turmeric, jira masala, and some garlic, fine thyme, pepper blend up there. So all of that goodness now with some salt. Then I go right into the oil. Yeah. The pan had miss lunch. Alright, let's say miss lunch. Fry some onion. Alright, so we put so it I'm different. I'm gonna put onion, but I'm not gonna put any shell. Alright. Lovely. So we're trying up the um we try in a different way here. Our good friend Miss Caroline usually fry, but this is a normal thing too. Sometimes I fry the onion first and then start cooking. Oh, you alright? Oh, hi Selena. I come home for my food. Cooking it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's gonna be spicy and nice. Okay. You need a mask. <laughs> Look at the good ones, boy. My oh my. And this is the coast shrimp, or the one we call it Santa Pea shrimp. Alright, or the black shrimp. The bonjal, we can do two different um, bonjal. One with the coast shrimp, and the other one with the, the egg belly shrimp, or the white shrimp. White belly shrimp or egg belly shrimp, man. Let's go. 
Right, then I show you the other one. But look, look at the good. Ooh. Oh god. <clears throat> yes, darling. I show you mango and the um, to grow and the pepper in the meantime. And this is the other shrimp here. This is the white belly or the egg belly shrimp. All right. So it's two different curry. These you don't take off the shell from it. You see it just like that. But the bigger ones over here, you take the shell off. When you catch your own food, fish, you come back and you cook, enjoy your life. And as I always tell y'all, you don't have to be rich to be happy. These are the little things you can do. Spend time with your family, go catch some fish, come home, cook, and enjoy life. Enjoy yourself and be happy. Celebrate as a family. All right? But y'all want the goodness in the meantime. <laughs> I know my boy Robin and Ricky and Farad. I know y'all drooling by in, in, in the US there. All right? Wow. That's it. Shrimp in the Karahi bubbling, bubbling, bubbling. You can leave some with the gravy, you know. Come here, Dal. All right? All right, it says 15 minutes later. Now I'm finished. Let's show you how the next one now. This one you can bunch all down. Alright. Yeah, you gotta dry down on this paper. Yeah. How can it get better when you got such a lovely wife? Eh? It's the work, buddy. That's what you call bunjal shrimp. See, you dry bunjal shrimp. So we got shrimp curry, bunjal shrimp. I divide the rice in half. All right, shrimp curry, bonjal shrimp. Over here. Shrimp curry. All right. And over here. It's bonjal shrimp. Hmm. Oh God, I get better than this. Tell me. Woo. All right, the shrimp curry finished for us, so. Finish cooking for us, so that is that one for us, right? Cheers. Mmm. Spicy. Miss Jen said if you want more salt, and I say it's spicy. Mm -hmm. The shrimp curry, spicy. Cheers. I ain't getting the taste yet, I'll tell you I don't know. <laughs> My taste, sorry, whole plate. Yeah. Mm hmm. The shrimp's curry? Master. Yeah, Bonjour shrimp. And please note, too much of shrimp or crustacean like crabs and stuff, lobster. Very fatty, right? Not healthy to eat. We don't eat shrimp often, all right? Cheers. Listen, the shrimp that is good, you know, don't eat. Leave it, I mean. Too. I don't taste it already. <laughs> Boy. I wish I could give you some, but you can't eat hot food, right? No. This bonjal shrimp couldn't get fresher. Couldn't taste better. Cheers. Mmm. My nice pepper. Don't try this at home, right? Very spicy. Or if you're trying that, make sure you got a glass of milk. Nice weary, weary pepper. I have. Cheers. So, listen, mm -hmm. this is a milk. I'm mm choking -hmm. with pepper hot. So, don't try it at home. I'm gonna leave this piece in because <laughs> I want you guys to see the effect of pepper. <laughs> Cheers. So I want to thank you guys. I got milk around my mouth. My camera didn't show me I got milk around my mouth. Yeah. That's okay. 
So, you guys saw me got up this morning early, pick up my boy Anthony. I went down to Ogle. We went shrimping and fishing. The men caught a lot of shrimp. We caught a lot of fish. Hey, we came back home. I cook up the shrimp. I eat my belly full. And it was fresh as ever. Life can get better. So I hope you guys had fun with me today. Hope you had fun with me shrimping and fishing. Hope you're staying safe, you're staying positive. Take care of you, those around you. God bless you. Stay safe, peace out. See you on another adventure.